My name is uh, Koen Dekker. I work at GFK Netherlands and uh, I'm a senior consultant innovations and we develop creative solutions actually for FMCG uh, uh, and retailers. In the coming years I think uh, what we see at GFK is a decline in uh, meat consumption which is uh, going down rapidly uh, whereas we see uh, meat substitutes or meat replacement products actually growing in terms of uh, penetration and frequency. And I think this will go on for the next uh, three to five years actually, because uh, the need for these products uh, is growing and is probably even growing for even more than five years, I guess. Uh, what we see a lot happening in products developing or de based on protein is uh, they're all the same or they offer the same solutions or they offer the same benefits. And, and that's the, the, the hazard or the danger of these, uh, this category is uh, stop benchmarking and start benchmarking. Start looking at other categories, what they are doing and incorporate that in your own protein products because a lot of protein products are still very much focused on functional benefits. So eh, it delivers something for the muscles uh, or other functional benefits, uh, whereas uh, growth can be obtained from more aspirational benefits. It makes you look good, for instance, or maybe other aspirational benefits, which I can't uh, come up with at the moment. But look at more aspirational benefits instead of only functional benefits and try to combine both. That's probably where the, the next uh, growth for the next coming years is coming from.